Benin is one of the many countries that is heavily affected by coastal erosion. That's why in 2018 we came here with Jan de Noe to install a five kilometer long submerged breakwater. At Jan de Noe we not only want to build bigger and better, but we also care about the long-term effects of our projects. Three years after finishing the project, we are still here researching the effects of the underwater breakwater together with local fishermen and institutes. Early in the morning, before the wind picks up, we go together with fishermen and divers and we take grab samples. These sediment samples, we sieve them in order to study the small organisms that are present in the area. And these small organisms we then compare to a control site far away from the underwater breakwater. And that's how we can map the whole area. At the same time, we are working with professional divers that collect corals, sponges and everything that grows on the rocks. These samples, they are brought to the surface where they are kept in a solution that they can be preserved to send to Belgium and analyzed by experts in the field. A new and interesting technique that we are testing in Benin is environmental DNA. Environmental DNA is a method that involves extracting genetic material from environmental samples such as seawater in order to detect and identify marine species that are present in a given environment. All marine organisms release DNA in the water column that can be detected using this new technique. However, since Benin is a scientifically understudied region in the world, not all marine species have DNA barcode assigned to them. And in order to address this issue, we are taking DNA samples from the fish that were caught in the nets of the artisanal fishermen. By analyzing these samples, the DNA barcode can be generated for these species. And in the future, these species can then also be detected using environmental DNA. The objective of this study is to assess whether the breakwater attracts a greater diversity of fish species compared to a location without any hard substrates. The first results already show that the breakwater actually attracts a far greater diversity of fish species compared to a location without any hard structures. 